What's up guys and welcome back to my hardcore for episode I think 38. Um, we're going to be switching it up a little bit if you guys couldn't tell from the title of the video. We're going to be looking for a horse or a couple of horses. I don't know. I think this stronghold needs a stable and uh, we need a couple of horses that way. Uh, well, just so we can get around faster than just walking when we're out in the plains and stuff. But we have to go to a plane, um, which is probably going to be a little difficult. Actually, let me check before we take off here. Do I have enough for another bed? Um, I see one wool in here. Let's take these shears, and uh, I'm sure we'll find a sheep and uh, make sure that we get some wood. Yeah, I got a little bit there. And um, we'll take a door in case we have to barricade ourselves somewhere. We'll be all right. We got plenty of potatoes. Uh, let's grab another half a stack here. There we go, 48. 48 is a good number to start at. I put this little post here to tie him to, but then after I did that, I realized I have a bunch of to posts here anyways. So um, I only have one saddle with me here. I think there's more at the house, but we're not going to be going that way. We're going to go out straight this way because, um, I don't know, why not? Let's just go straight that way. But real quick before we go, just as a precaution, how about I hit the right keys for once, F3. Hit a screenshot, that way we have our uh, coordinates, that way we don't get lost. Or if we do get lost, we can get back. I guess that's that's the only situation where that actually would have been helpful if, if we get lost. Um, but I think we're just going to go straight this way. And um, what is that? F, F2. I'm going to go F2, go F0 on the way back. So we're going north right now. Um, I remember when finding north meant looking at where the clouds went. And that was called um, Minecraft North. But the sun comes from that direction too. And, um, you know, the sun rises from the east and sets on the west. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff like that. There was also ways of... Oh, look, sheep. Um, fighting out the, the which direction was Minecraft North by looking at a piece of cobblestone. Because there was one, like, one shape. There was like an L or something. Uh, in one of the corners, and it always pointed uh, towards north. A bunch of old, 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 old tricks like that. We don't need these shears anymore. So we need to find a plains biome. Um, which, uh, I don't know how easy that's going to be. I mean, does that look like plains to you guys? I don't know. Let's just go over there real quick and check. Um, which, I don't know. Have we been in a plains biome yet? I think they've always been something a little different. Yeah, these are extreme hills. It's way too hilly to be uh, to be a plains biome. So let's keep going north. Uh, hopefully we don't run into an ocean. Because um, then we're going to need a boat. I don't want to waste wood on a boat. So we'll take that off until we find something a little bit smooth. And um, we're just going to go out this way. And we're going to try to make this another single cut type of video. Hopefully if it doesn't get incredibly long. I'm actually going to pay attention to the time a little bit now and try to keep myself below the 30 minute mark. But you guys know how that is. It's like when I make a video and I start it off, all right, this is going to be a quick video and it's like 47 minutes long. Um, I just, it's just how it works. So uh, a lot of good responses from the last video as well. It does seem like you guys do like um, listening to me talk, but there's also still people out there that enjoy the uh, the building videos as well. Uh, building videos being that um, I make cuts and um, you know show the progression of builds and stuff like that which is actually something that I'll be getting back to at some point because um, we're we need to make more progress on the stronghold um, we've been at it for a couple of episodes now and I don't want that to be the majority of the episodes of this series um, I don't want people to be you know thinking back Hey, remember the 20 some odd stronghold videos out of the 60 that, you know, Potatoes put out? Nah, I don't want that. I don't want this to be hardcore in a stronghold type of video. So, um, we're going to be trying to really push forward to getting that thing uh, complete after we get some horses, of course. Uh, horses, of course, uh, is, is always one of my favorite rhymes. It's not, but, I mean, we can believe that it is, right? Let's put a torch right here. Why not? Just so um, at night, maybe we'll see it and it'll guide us home. Look at this. A little lava. Huh. 
So we got ice, water, and lava. We don't have any uh, cobblestone though, just smooth stone. Is it lava over source block water? Does that make smooth stone? Um, I don't know. I always, I always forget the the combination. Hmm. A bunch of little caves and stuff around here. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, you guys like the the longer videos, and and truth be told, uh, I like them too. Um, but it's not easy to do. Uh, back when I first started this, I felt like I um just the the whole YouTube thing, I should say rather, my single player because I'm the only one here. Um, it was much easier to talk for for a long periods of time because I was still new. Um, I was new to you guys. I was new to um, uh, all my stories <laughs> were new, you know, eventually I think that, you know, repeating stories is going to be a thing. Like it's going to happen. It's just, it's bound to, this is a super long snow biome. What's going on? We're in ice plains, which is, oh no, I dropped a potato. We have to rescue it. Um, hmm. Should we go uh, another direction, maybe? Because it, it looks like we're going to be going into a forest here pretty soon. And, um, whatever. Let's just keep going north. That way we could just go south and get back home. Um, but yeah, uh, it was easier back in the day. Um, for those people who have been around long enough, you know that I used to put out two to three videos a day. Um, which is actually something that I would love to do again. I'd love to be able to to have two or three videos a day um but i don't I, I need to actually go back and check to see like how those videos were like um how i went about actually doing them because i i can't right now in my current mindset i can't even think of what i could blab about two to three times a day for you know 20 some odd minutes a piece um you know so i mean i guess in theory, I could take my 40 minute videos, chop them in half, and then I'd have two videos there, but I don't know. I don't like uh, cutting things midway through, you know? I like uh, like having dedicated episodes. I like having an intro for each episode, having an outro, it's sort of like closure, you know? Um, which is uh, something I don't like about our SMP series, is because uh, that's the way it, it just has to be. Um, we're not organized enough to, to sit down and be like, okay guys, it's been 30 minutes, hold on, let's stop. Um, which is much easier to do with um, uh, people who actually do this for a living. So like working with other YouTubers and stuff, we're, we're more organized as a, as a whole. Oh, I hope that's planes over there. So um, it's easier to, to do things like that. Um, be prepared and um, be mindful of times and stuff. Another thing is to I'm trying to I'm really trying to watch my swearing, um, mainly because I found out my little cousins like to watch my video, who are um, pretty young. I, I'm not sure their exact ages, and I'm not gonna start throwing out numbers. But hey, Andrew and Aaron, uh, if you're watching this, tell your aunt. I, well, I guess your mother, my aunt. Tell uh, tell Jenny I said hi, and uh, I'm terribly sorry for cursing as much as I do, um, which isn't even all that much unless you're watching team lps and then it's it's terrible so um oh i guess i should probably check planes awesome okay so we got some planes here i don't know the exact method of looking for horses do we just hang out here and just hope for the best we got a f zombie on fire over there um i think that they just spawn in yeah uh my experience with horses so far has been purely on mongoose country where i just uh drop an egg on the ground and get a horse so um this is going to be interesting hmm i'm not seeing any horses guys so uh yeah no um how about uh how about we touch on a little bit of uh things that you guys have talked about um either a single comment that kind of uh stood out to me or you know a bunch of you guys have actually talked about um in numerous comments the first one is uh, staying positive um, some of you guys have commented on the fact that uh, they you like how um, even though you know a bunch of negative things keep happening I stay a little bit positive I'm, I'm fr from my point of view uh, you know I, I 
staying positive is, is a big thing. Um, because if uh, the, the second that you start letting negative things in your life um, rule your attitude and mood, those things start controlling your life and it's no longer your life. You're, you're letting your... your um, uh, man, I, I'm not even sure of a better word to, to, to describe this other than just, you know, a, a terrible situation. Um, you're letting the situation control your life instead of yourself controlling your life. So um, it's always been... I, actually, no, it hasn't always been. It's been something that uh, changed in my life when I was young. Uh, probably, I think around 19, when I was 19 years old, I um, I went through a pretty nasty breakup, and um, uh, I, it was very apparent to me that, um, you know, I was sad almost every single day and being depressed and being the over-emotional teenager that I was, um, that every teenager is actually, I shouldn't, it's not, I'm not, um, I'm definitely not alone in that aspect. Hold on, I just pulled out the cable again on my headset. Um, someone mentioned that I can turn off the auto thing that, that shuts it off, so I gotta look into that and just burn the battery down. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, actually, you know what, we'll just keep that bed here, because if we're gonna be in these planes for a while, um, might as well just keep it. And, um, wait for some horses? I don't know, this is gonna be really boring if I just wait for horses all the time. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the breakup and stuff, actually, let's just break it. We're just gonna go find some more planes. Um, this is good and all, but we could do better. Because, um, I don't want to have to just sit here and just wait the whole time. We gotta find some planes that have horses in them. So, let's go this direction. We got our coordinates, we can find our way back. It's not that big of a deal. But the, uh, the breakup was bad and everything like that. I found myself being sad every day, and I wasn't getting anything done. I was being super unproductive with uh, with my life. I wasn't um, really doing a whole lot, so um, it just kind of clicked that you know why am I wasting so much effort in being sad right now when you know I could just forget about it, move on, and uh, get on with doing other things in my life, and. Um, Ever since then, it's been very easy for me to just move on um, because you waste so much more effort, so much more energy in being sad about situations and forcing yourself to not do things than it is to just let it go. If you just let it go and you move on, um, wow, I'm glad we left too because this, this is a whole new planes, isn't it? Yeah, we're still in planes. Um, so staying positive has always been something that um, I've always been a huge advocate for because uh, a positive atti attitude can go such a long way. And um, that was even driven home for me when I was over at um, my grandparents' house one time and one of uh, my grandma's friends was over and um, she was going through chemo at the time. And um, for, I think, for the last year or something like that. I don't know. It was, it was a long time um, that she was going through chemo. And uh, she had such a cheerful disposition. She was just so happy just to be there, you know, just to be alive and everything like that. And um, that really hit home for me. And uh, I asked her about it and everything like that. I was trying not to be rude. And he's like, oh, why are you so happy? You got cancer. Um which is, which is, is, uh, it's just, it's terrible to say that, but you guys get where I'm going with this. And, um, she just kind of smiled and she looked at me and she goes, you know, uh, she basically told me what I just told you guys, you know, I, I realized that if I started letting this cancer control my life, then, you know, I'm not living anymore. You know, it's not my own life. So, um, she took a, took uh, control of her own life and um, said that being positive throughout her entire situation has helped way more than um, her being depressed. Like, what does is, what is being depressed solve? It solves nothing. If anything, it only 
extends your time or um okay so i i'm i'm sorry guys i'm having a really tough time trying to get my words together and form them into actual sentences i'm just blurting things over and over and repeating myself um so i'm just gonna move on off of that topic because it's gonna be it's just gonna get repetitive which it already was so i'm, I'm just gonna move on um anyways you don't nothing gets solved in life by being depressed there's there's not one thing in life not one situation where being depressed actually solves your problem so um the best way to go about doing it is just stay positive and know that things will get better and um it's only a speed bump that you're going through at the moment um and i've tried to keep that keep that um in my mind in the last few months because um truth be told i can't get into the details but um my youtube career or you know or lack thereof right now um has gone downhill significantly since last year um last year it was uh, it was much much better um and things were actually looking up and things were looking very promising but um this year has been um disappointment after disappointment after disappointment and um to compound on those uh you know last month or month and a half now or so, whenever it was i think it was within the last month um my hard drive died and i lost uh you know 800 gigs or something like that of raw footage along with a lot of older videos that um I'm just cruising through these planes again, by the way, if that's why you're asking or thinking to yourself, why is he going back? Um, trying to get them to spawn. So, um, I lost a bunch of footage and, um, I lost a bunch of old footage, stuff that I've been holding on to, old Hogwarts footage and stuff, stuff that I liked keeping around. I lost all of my old Service Saturday videos that I kept. And they're still online, obviously, but I liked having the raw footage because every now and then I'd go back and watch the first episode and and um, re-listen to my terrible scene anners uh, impersonation um, when I opened the video and I liked seeing Mongoose Country back uh, back in its early days where um, where builds were very small and um, people had less materials and stuff to work with and we were only like 20 people on our whitelist somewhere around there but um yeah, and then uh, after you guys uh, graciously came and rescued me from uh, from that because I, I cannot afford to buy new parts for my computer right now or if this continues ever, um, which is a shame because the parts that are in my computer, if they break, I am I am screwed. They they're they're not like simple things to fix. Um, so you guys. Um, banded together and, and, and we did a, like a little ra uh, fundraiser thing to, to get me um, a couple new hard drives and get back up and rolling because downtime just doesn't exist. You can't let the downtime control. I could have wallowed and, and have just you know said screw it and taken a week off or something like that to kind of recharge my batteries, but I immediately started recording the same day that I lost the footage and uh, tried to get back up on my feet. And then about two weeks after that, um, just when things were actually getting back in, in, the, in the swing of things, or when I was getting back into the swing of things, um, we already had two new Team LPs in the, in the works. We had a bunch of SMP footage from the Vex map. Um, and we actually finished that map. I, I lost a, the t other end of the, the, the planes. Whatever, let's just go. We'll keep going north. We'll just go past this forest here. And... Um, Things would have been right back on track um, within a week, probably after that. And then my lovely motherboard, um, my Gigabyte UD5H, um, decided that uh, it didn't want to remember the raid that I set up anymore. And um, at this point, I already set up an external drive, an old external drive, to to start backing up some of my irreplaceable stuff. And I was just using my new raid for filming and that was it so it was just all raw data or raw raw footage now and um 
that had to be edited, and that's all that's ever going to be used for. The computer, I turned it off and I turned it back on, and it didn't have the RAID set up anymore, which is is one thing, you know. Um, you can always just uh, tell it, like, okay, yeah, no, these two drives, they were in RAID 0, and um, putting it back together like that should have fixed it. Um, however, it seemed to have corrupted its table of contents, basically, and uh, forgot how to arrange all the items on those two drives, and they're actually still sitting on my shelf right now because I'm still a little angry at them, so they're kind of in timeout. And um, I just put a spare drive in my computer right now that I'm using for recording. So um, on it, I, I lost a bunch of data, and then immediately after that, I lost all the new data that um, I was trying to catch up on. We're going to dig in here to sleep. Um, actually, do you need to sleep? inside of stuff. Let's just sleep outdoors. Let's see what happens. We'll hold our sword out just to make sure. And, um... I don't think, yeah, you don't need to if, um, if there's no monsters around. Um, I know every now and then, like, one will hit you and wake you up, or it used to. I'm, I'm not sure anymore. Um... So... Oh, hello, zombie. See, he would've, he would've got me. A couple of wolves down there, too. I haven't seen wolves in a while playing on the ice so yeah I lost a bunch of stuff I lost a bunch of stuff again and both those times um, I immediately got back up and started recording again um, the night that I actually lost the um, the raid setup was actually the night we were supposed to record um, the podcast and I was over at Lee's recording some videos with him and uh, I came back home turned my computer on and it was broken so the guys had to do the podcast without me because I was trying to fix it so, um, basically the moral of that story is to not use onboard raid systems. Um, they can be, uh, faulty. So if you're ever going to do a raid, uh, look into getting a raid card, which is something that I would have loved to do and still would like to do, but, uh, I can't afford the, the like, 150 or $200 it is to get a SATA 3 raid card for at least four drives. Um, because if I am going to do another raid, it is damn well gonna be some redundancy in there um which was the original plan is to put it into raid 5 but that's besides the point i'm getting into a very nerdy um section so um let's move on from uh from this positive talk you know stay positive still looking for horses pretty positive i'm gonna find some horses um <laughs> sooner or later right i guess is, is the is the thought we're still in planes finding a lot more planes than i thought um, maybe we should start heading back because I feel like we've gone over left enough. Um, we can go back down south after we check out the rest of this plains here. Um, so uh, the other thing that um, people were asking me about was uh, like community events and stuff to do with uh, with fans, which is uh, actually something that I have been kind of planning because, um, like I've mentioned earlier, the uh, the YouTube thing is not working out as well as I was hoping it, f it would be at this time in my life, especially at 40,000 subscribers and stuff, you would think that I would be doing better than what I was with 20. Um, but that's just not how it works. There's a lot of, a lot of moving parts, I guess, when it comes to, um, to the YouTube career, and it's not as glamorous as it, as it seems. Um, maybe when I hit a million, like all the other people are right now, Seth Bling and Sly just hit a million... Um, someone else just hit a million too. I don't know. You guys are crazy. It's a huge community and I'm really happy to see that it's still thriving. Um, just waiting for, waiting for my chance. But, uh, anyways, yeah, community events. Um, probably going to be doing a community event to, uh, to put up a, uh, a fundraiser for, um, some Team Mongoose members to make it to Minecon. Um, whoa, okay. That was a sweet jump. Super proud of myself on that one. Um, because a lot of us uh, won't be able to afford to go across country and um, get a hotel room and everything like that. So um, that's more than likely. Um, I know I'm definitely in that boat. Uh, the tickets actually just went on sale as I'm recording it as of right now. The first batch goes out in 3 hours and 38 minutes. Um, 
and those will probably sell out immediately which is um which is a shame but you know it's it's cool because minecon is uh is a very popular event minecraft is is awesome so it's uh most definitely gonna sell out probably of its 7500 tickets they're all gonna sell out eventually um but uh i know uh oh man i know we looked up the prices before uh i think pl a round trip plane ticket to florida from california is 350 dollars I don't know. I'm going to have to double check on the actual price, but it's somewhere around there. But we still haven't booked it because we don't have the money <laughs> for it at the moment. Um, and I always forget how, how plane tickets and hotels room, rooms work. I know hotels, you can't, you don't have to pay it until you check out. So I, um, I think we can book those, but I think you got to put a deposit on it. I don't know. I got I to gotta look into it, but... Um, we're going to be organizing a few community events to, to, uh, to raise money for Minecon. Um, I know, uh, Ryan, Sniper Goo, he's been wanting to do something with all of you guys because, um, if you guys are, are close followers of the S&P series and everything in the podcast, you know that Ryan's working off of a dual core, not only just a dual core, but a 9,800 GT video card. And, um... It is just the the just it's hand me downs basically from um, parts from uh, a super old PC of mine, uh, super old PC of other people's. It's it's a Frankenstein computer right now, and um, he's trying to sell his house right now, so he can't uh, and and move back to California. So um, money is is pretty tight for him as well right now. So um, I know he's planning on doing something fairly soon, so you guys should look out for that. Um, should be very entertaining. I'm not sure what he has planned just yet. He's been meaning to call me, but uh, he hasn't. So Ryan, get get on that. Um, man, wait, this this is honestly like the biggest freaking snow biome I've ever seen. Why why is a snow biome so big, but like every other biome isn't? Like, why don't we have like huge mass of like plains biomes or extreme hills? Um, or, or even deserts. Deserts are kind of kind of average too, but snow biomes. The, the least interesting biome um, is uh, is the biggest. And I say least interesting because there's no villages, there's no snow temples, there's um, there's nothing cool like that. I mean, we found our stronghold in a snow biome, but a stronghold isn't specific to a snow biome. And I've been here. Are we getting close to, to where we were? I think we are. are. Those my trees? I don't know. Where are we? I don't know. Let's just keep going down uh, south, right? Yeah, we're going south. Um. So yeah, there's uh, there's definitely a lot of community events happening. We do a lot of uh, community events when we stream and stuff like that. Um, whether it be like Sonic Racing or um, we did Nightmare Mode for a while, and I, I that was so much fun. I I loved doing the Nightmare Mode thing, and everybody that bought into that will stay on the whitelist for all community events. In fact, all the people that supported it in the beginning all got um, memberships on Mongoose Country. So um, that was uh, that was a a, a neat little thing for them who came out to, to support something that was new that we were trying and um, so yeah let's uh let's let's try to bust through a couple more of these before because I think I'm at a half hour right now um, what other thing uh, someone or a couple of you actually are still asking about the ender dragon battle for my hardcore and I think that's where I slept at one point yeah we're going back we're, we're in the same area we're still in a bunch of snow, though. Come on, man. Don't want to be in a snow biome anymore. I want a horse. There's going to be a whole episode of, of, of the missing horses. We're never going to find them. Um, Ender Dragon Battle is probably not going to happen for a while. And I say that because um, I want to set up a blaze spawn trap. Or mob trap. Blaze mob trap thing. Um, and start gearing up. Uh, I do I do not feel comfortable in my current gear um, this has protection 3 on it you know um, these ones are alright but I'd like to get some thorns on that 
Um, projectile protection's okay. Um, but yeah, I wanna I wanna up my uh, my the level of my gear first before we get into the Ender Dragon battle because I don't want to go in there ill prepared and just die. So um, I want to be prepared for that. So this is a very big hill. Oh, okay. Wasn't too worried about that. We got feather falling. We're good. Look at that water. I think we could jump in that water. I didn't sprint at all. Oh, oh wow, we hit it. Nice. That's weird water right there. Um, so it's not going to be for a while. Uh, if I had to put a number, an episode number to it, um, maybe double what we have right now. Maybe. Um, it all depends on how soon I get that blaze farm up and how soon it's nice to me. Uh, nice to me and my enchants. Um, if I get good enchants, then it's going to be much sooner than that. Uh, if I don't, and it's taking ages and ages and ages, then... Um, well, it's just going to take some time to get to, but I'm not going to go in there without being prepared. I'd sooner... I Nope, I retract that statement. I would not sooner fight a wither. <laughs> I think uh, the Ender Dragon is much easier, uh, even with all the Endermen around. So, that's uh, that settles that. Um, and that's actually going to probably do it for this episode, guys, because if I get into anything else, I'm going to be here for another 10, 15, 20 minutes talking about it. But, um, and we're in a desert now, which I don't remember being there. So I'm going to go back to, uh, to our base. I think it's this way a little bit, or maybe I passed it. I don't know. I should probably check the coordinates before I keep walking. And, um, we, uh, we will pick up next event, next event. I, I looked over at my notes and saw community events and I said event, uh, in the next episode with um maybe another horse search but uh we'll cut it up we, it won't be a solid clip i was really hoping to be able to just run across some horses i, I didn't think that they would be this difficult to find um and i don't remember being so close to a swamp so i'm gonna go take a look at my coordinates get back home and um i'll see you guys for the next episode and remember to stay positive